Today, I wanted to revisit Liberty City, so I got the Platinum Trophy for GTA 3. It's time for Claude Speed to once again cause mayhem as we attempt to unlock all 29 trophies and 100% game completion. So what do we need to do to get 100%? Well, it's quite a lot. We're going to have to complete all 48 story missions and all 17 payphone missions. We'll have to do four off-road missions, four RC Toys missions, deliver all vehicles to Portland and Shoreside Vale. We'll have to do level 12 of the paramedic, 100 taxi fares, 20 vigilante and fire truck missions on each of the three islands for a total of 60 of each meaning 120 20 rampage missions complete all 20 stunt jumps and finally collect all 100 hidden packages and not only that we'll also have to keep our eyes open for missable trophies on certain missions now that we know what we need for 100 percent and the platinum we can begin so sit back relax and join me as i achieve the platinum trophy in gta 3. So to begin with, we're going to do the first island, Portland. I'm going to kind of take these islands in steps. I'm going to try and do everything in island one, then two, then three. So we begin in Portland. The bridge is blowing up. We escape being sent to prison. Hitch a ride with Mr. My hands are all messed up. So you better drive, brother. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up. So you better drive, brother. Get to the hideout, change our clothes, and complete our first mission, which grabs us our first trophy. First day on the job for completing the mission, Luigi's Girls. Hey, hey, there's our first trophy, first day on the job. So now we have the first island open to us. What does any escaped convict do? Well, they become a cop and do vigilante missions, of course. So I complete 15 in a row for the trophy going rogue. Hey, there we go, going rogue. So with that done, what does a convict do next? Hide away, try to clear his name. Nope, he becomes a taxi driver. I needed to finish 100 taxi fares. So about an hour and a half and some banging tunes later, I completed my 100th ride and grabbed the trophy. Where to? Hey, there we go. Where to? It's another one in the bag. Once that was finished, it's time for Claude to start making a name for himself by becoming an ambulance driver. What were you thinking? So, four failed attempts later, I completed 12 levels of paramedic in a row for the trophy, playing doctor. We needed to make sure we got this one as early as possible because this trophy can become almost impossible if the Mafia are against you because they have a shotgun and it literally can blow your vehicle up in one shot. So yeah, I wanted to get this done as soon as possible. Oh my God, we're almost done. Final two people to pick up. And then we just gotta get them back in one piece. We've got a minute time, so we're, I think we're okay for time. As long as nothing goes wrong. Picking this last person up and taking them to the destination, we should be okay. Here we go, come on. Please do not faff this up, Lee. Here we go. Are we good? Please tell me we're done. Yeah, there we go. Mission complete. Playing doctor. <laughs> there we go. That's 12 done in a row. Thank God for that. I was so stressed out doing that. And the sirens was driving me bonkers. But we're good. We're done. Let's move on. After that, I became a firefighter. Claude is just full of surprises. So I extinguished 15 fires in a row for splish splash. And once I'd done that, I got an extra five for the 20. And for now, at least... Claude Speed's good days are far behind him. A splish splash. There we go. After that, I completed a perfect stunt and grabbed reckless driving. Of course, we already know for 100% we're going to have to complete all stunt jumps later. Oh, reckless driving. Is that for the first one or something? Perform a perfect insane stunt. Sweet. I was expecting that, didn't I? It was a trophy. So next, I was working towards completing the Rampage missions on the first island and unlocked the Street Sweeper Trophy for wasting 100 gang members. Street Sweeper? I went and delivered a few vehicles for the import and export and also grabbed the packages in the first island. Now, with all that busy work done, we can finally get back to the main story missions and grab ourselves two more trophies. So the first one is our first missable trophy. Got this figured out. For this one, before even starting the mission, I needed to go get a coach because it's the only vehicle in the game that can hold eight passengers. So now that I have a coach, it's time to head for Luigi's final mission, the fuzzball. Here, we're against the clock. We had five minutes to pick up 
up and drop off all eight of Luigi's girls. Once that was done, we complete the mission, unlocking the trophy. Jesus, how much money did that kid have? <laughs> Holy cow. I got a coach full of the ladies. There you go, ladies. There we go. Got this figured out. There's our first missable trophy complete. And then we also got another trophy, dirty money for earning a fortune of 1 million. Taxi drivers in Liberty City must be rolling in cash. I love how they fall out. <laughs> they get out of the car, they get knocked out by the door. Oh my God. There we go. Mission complete. <laughs> dirty money. What's that one? I wasn't expecting another trophy. A massive fortune of a million. Oh, okay. Nice. Next, I pick up the trophy, disposing of the evidence. I got this one for completing the first hidden pay for mission for Marty Chonks. The mission was called The Crook, where I had to take someone out who owes Mr. Chonks some money. Once we drop him off and he's taken care of, we had to get rid of the evidence. So we took the car to the crusher in the junkyard and bagged ourselves another trophy. Shortly after that, we tackled the first mission for Joey, called Mike Lips Last Lunch, which has another missable trophy. So for this trophy, without a scratch, we need to steal the vehicle, arm it with a bomb at eight balls, and then return before time runs out. And you guessed it, without a scratch. So far though, I haven't actually crashed it, so I think we're okay. Left, boom, bomb armed. All right, we're leaving. Let's get out of here, boys. All right, hopefully we get the trophy once this is done. Huh? There we go, without a scratch, boom. We got it. Deliver it without a scratch on the first attempt. We actually got it on the first attempt as well, so. Happy days, oh shit, the police are chasing me. Yo, chill my guy, it wasn't even me, bro. Then I saved the game because we've got another missable trophy ahead. I made sure to save the game before every one of these missable trophies because if you complete the mission and fail to get the trophy, the game doesn't have any replay mission option, which means you'd have to start a new game and that's not really my cup of tea. So we're going to play it safe and make a save. So now Joey's second mission called Farewell Chunky. This trophy is called Planned Ahead. And for this one, we'll need to, you guessed it, plan ahead, which in short means I needed to rig Mr. Chunky Lee Chong's car. That is a mouthful. With the bomb so that when he tries to escape boom he's a goner so we go grab the car take another visit to eight ball arm the car park it back in the same spot all right there we go so park it up here arm the bomb get out where are you going mr chong and watch as mr chong sells his last noodle <laughs> he's got the funniest run ever <laughs> there he goes you should blow huh? boom there it is Planned ahead. Trophy is ours. Mission is passed. We've got 10,000. Chump change considering we've got over a million. But the next trophy was by a mile for beating the Turismo race in under 180 seconds. I wanted to do this early because if you leave it until later, like we mentioned before, the gang members will be hostile and they'll try and blow up your vehicle while you're trying to race. But we ain't got time for that. That makes things harder. So I wanted to get it done now. So I just needed a fast car. So I grabbed myself a police car, headed to the starting line and got it done on my first attempt. Boom. Here we go. Mission passed. Trophy by a mile. After that, I unexpectedly got right hand man for earning a criminal rating of 2,500, which I have to say is tiny compared to the rating that you need in Vice City. Oh, right hand man. What the hell did I do? I, I failed a mission. I know that. Shortly after that, I got mob boss, which is the last missable trophy we needed. For this one, I had to keep the two mafia members alive in the mission triads and tribulations. This one wasn't too difficult. Again, play it safe, make a save before you do the mission, just in case you fail. And I got it done. I wonder if I can just shoot him from up here. Might be able to just throw a grenade at them, to be fair. I wish I had a sniper, though. That would have been pretty cool. Oh my god, it actually worked. Mob boss. <laughs> oh, nice. Keep the two Mafia members alive. Hell yeah. Sweet. Yo, that's a clutch little grenade throw right there, isn't it? Okay, so this next one, there's no trophy attached to it or anything like that. But the mission is Bomb the Base Act 2, where you get a sniper and you have to take out all the guards on the boat while defending 8-Ball. Now, I finished it no problem. But for some reason, I remember this mission being an absolute pain in the ass on the original. I mean, I might be remembering it wrong because this is back on the PS2, which I don't even know how many years ago. I just remember this mission being so difficult. Does anyone else remember it being difficult or is it just me? Run. All 
Anyway, the next mission, last request, does have a trophy. This one's called A Marked Man and is actually the final mission in Portland before heading to Staunton, the second island. So I made sure I'd completed all of Luigi's and Joey's missions before taking this one on. Completed the mission, got the trophy. Sweet. A Marked Man, 20 grand and just like that, we complete the final mission of the first island and we're on to uh, island number two. So once I was on the second island, I completed another 20 firefighter and vigilante missions. Then shortly after that, I got a trophy. Bruh. Wait, the hell did I just get? Full artillery. Use every weapon in the game at least once. Oh, nice. Wasn't expecting that. Bitch. What you gonna do? A gift from the king for completing the fourth payfall mission called Kingdom Come. In this one, I was ambushed by these crazy looking dudes that were screaming and running at me, ready to blow me up. Honestly, I'm probably gonna have nightmares about that tonight. So I took them out along with the vans and completed the mission. Hey, there we go. Mission passed. A gift from the king. Let's go, brother. Get me out of here. So I was going about my way, completing more missions, and I grabbed Liberty City Minute for surviving with less than 10 HP for one minute. Not long after that, I completed the mission A Drop in the Ocean for the Shoreside Delivery Trophy. For this one, I had two minutes before the plane arrives, so I dashed over to the location, jumped in a boat, collected the six packages, which gave me a four-star wanted level, so I quickly headed back to land and went for a swim. All right, for all the packages, take them back to Donald Love. Bruh. Dude, bro. <laughs> God damn it. Now, with that fail behind us, I attempted the mission again. Once the mission was completed, the third and final island, Shoreside Vale, was opened up. Just give him his package. Oh, someone's screaming at me. Boom. Offshore delivery. Hell yeah. What the hell, officer? What are you doing? So, now that we're in Shoreside, the final island, I can do many of the remaining collectibles and miscellaneous stuff. So first, I get man toys for completing every RC toys mission. There's only four, so it wasn't too bad. You just blow up gang vehicles with an explosive RC car. Boom. After that, I grab my final few hidden packages for Liberty City Secrets. Of course, stuffing unusual air, the usual GTA stuff, collect all 100 packages. Nice, 99, only one more. The nice thing though is for every 10 that you collect, you get a new weapon that spawns at your safe house. So once I'd grabbed that final package, we were conveniently right next to my final off-road checkpoint mission. There it is. There's my final package. Boom. Liberty City Secrets, you got them all. Here's a little something. Nice, so now we've got a rocket launcher at the safe house and we got a million. No trophy for completing these, but of course it's required for 100% completion. Boom, mission passed. Next, I did my final few stunt jumps for the wheels up trophy. That's all 20 completed. What a jump. Oh no. Oh no way. Oh, that was slick. That was so slick. There we go. I think one more now. I think this is the last one directly in front. Maybe. Let's see if this was the last one. Yep, there it is. Another mill and the trophy wheels up for completing all 20 jumps. Sweet. So after that, I wanted to finish the remaining 20 firefighter and vigilante missions. So I went and stole a fire truck, completed the remaining few. That's another 20 completed, which means all 60 are done. 20 on each of the three islands. I then went and grabbed a police car ready to do the 20 vigilante missions. And I grabbed a police badge from a safe house, which gave me another trophy, which was escape artist for using 20 police bribes. So back to the vigilante missions. After completing another 20, I finally got furious first responders for completing all of the vehicle missions. There we go, furious first responder. So that one's for completing all the paramedic, firefighter and vigilante missions. I'm gonna get arrested. All right, so now I've done all the vehicle missions. So now we're nearing the 100% completion. So I finished my final rampage. That's all 20 rampages complete. Blood in the streets. That's all rampages complete as well. Getting closer and closer to that 
100% completion. Then, the final payphone mission. Come on, bitches. You wanna fill my bat? I'll take you all out. Boom, mission passed. <laughs> we just be the absolute crap out of them. After that, I went and slapped up a couple of gang members for the trophy come out to play, which is for killing 25 gang members with fists or bats. Nice little reference there to the Warriors. Fun fact, Rockstar actually made a Warriors game and it was, uh, it was really good. Hey, come out to play. There we go. I had a look at my trophies after that mission we just done where we beat them all up and saw that there was a, a trophy for beating 25 up. So there it is. Good stuff. Does anyone know if that's been remade? I wonder if that, that's got like a PS4 remake with trophies. I'd, I would absolutely go for the Platinum if that's a thing. Anyway, now onto the final mission of the game called the Exchange. Once that was done, we grabbed our second to last trophy. Not so fast for completing the final mission. Where you going, Catalina? All right, let's get the RPG. Got him. Hell yeah, there it is. Let's go. The exchange is done. Boom, there it is. Not so fast. So that was for complete the final mission. So I think now all we need, so I'm on 95%. I don't think I'm going to get nine, uh, 5%, sorry, from delivering the remaining cars. So there must be something I'm missing for 100%. Now, all we need is the 100% trophy. So to my knowledge, I'd basically done everything for 100%, apart from one thing. I head on over to the export in Portland with a rhino and boom, there goes me tank. I feel like this should be the last thing I need for 100%, but I'm not confident because it says I still need 5% and I'm not confident I'm going to get 5% just from delivering this vehicle. Oh my God, I did. Pest control. Is that all you've got? Achieve 100% completion. Oh my God. We did it. Boom. King of Liberty City. Yes. I got 5% from that. What the hell? I did not think I was going to get 5% completion. Why does it say GTA all over here? What's that mean? Wait, you can just, can you just spawn big? What's that? I don't know what that is, but we got the trophy. We got the platinum. There it is. 100% Liberty City, baby. There it is. GTA 3 complete. Next, we're going to do GTA Vice City. It's going to be a good one. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. Leave a like, consider subscribing, check out another video. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the next one.